Yo guys, uh, it's another shoe review, epic. But you know what? This time, the shoes are actually good. These are pretty good shoes, guys. So these are the Li Ning Yushua 12s, and they're from China. And they're extremely cheap. Yeah. Hopefully good shoes come by. My friend was lowest you can do I. Your price killing me so high But money really ain't a problem When you need to flex there is no ceiling on the spending Doing 9 to 5 just to get some sneakers These things only cost around $40 in China Which is around 300 yuan I think And that is not a lot of money for shoes this quality And I gotta say the design is amazing in my opinion Now Let's start with what I like about these ones. The color schemes, all right? In general, this color scheme might not be the prettiest one. It's pretty boring, honestly, but there are other color schemes. These color schemes look amazing, and especially the white and the rose one. I think those are really good, but those cost a lot more. Those cost like 1,200 yen, which is like 120 euros, which is around the Jordan price, and they look cool. It's a fair price to people living outside of China. I don't know how wages are in China. Well, the other great things about these, as I said, the looks in general, not only the color scheme, but the looks, all right? So you look at this, they look very sleek, and they do look nice, in my opinion, and it's a, it's a good design. They've got this on the black edition and on some of the other editions, which is a really cool symbol. It looks like GG, like Gamers Unite or something, you know, but it's not, it's probably something else. And there's also an, a year tag, which means that this shoe is already outdated because it's 2019 now. Ah, what a shame. And on the other pair, you know, they're not exactly the same. This one has something else on the back, as well as the inside tags for InDesign We Trust. And on this one, Anything is possible. I gotta say the grip is also pretty good when playing in court I feel very comfortable and confident in these and also for daily walking They're pretty solid apart from one thing that actually ruins them entirely for certain type of people Another thing about the design there is something inside that you cannot see right now But you saw it in the b-roll insole removed uh, one insole is black and the other is white and the, they say time is money, basically. And the insole is kind of interesting because it's really soft. It's not those kind of really thin insoles that most shoes have. This one is actually like a soft, thick insole. That only makes up a little bit for one of the issues that some people could have with these shoes. Certainly not a big issue for me, but some people say they're hard. And I'd say they're not very hard. They're about medium if you compare them with some other very soft shoes like the Jordan B Flies. And if you wear them without this included insole, they might seem very hard. So you gotta make sure you have like soft insoles if you want anything. Like there is, doesn't seem like there's any technology inside here that would make it a lot softer. I don't know what this dry foam is, but it doesn't feel too soft, you know? You could not wear these that comfortably without the ins insole. That is the story about the insole. But now the actual negatives, let me just do this. These shoes do have clips and you might think, well, that's great. Then you can easily clip them and use them. Yeah, you can. But there are also strings inside. You would think that you can just use them with clips and close them really easily. Well, maybe you can, but there are also shoelaces that obviously if you have shoelaces, you either tie them or the other option is to take them out entirely. But I haven't done that because you might not be able to see, but it goes deep. It goes a bit deeper than I can access. So if I take these shoelaces out and it doesn't work, it's going to be really hard putting those shoelaces back in. That's why I'm going to do it for you. Look at this. I took out the shoelace and I'd say it's reasonable enough for walking. Maybe not for basketball though, because this part is not very tight. You know, depends on how you like your shoes. If you shut them really strong here, you actually like, get bad blood flow through here, through your leg. The other issues are that, for example, this thing, all right, this thing right here, doesn't really seem like it adds much to the functionality or the looks, yet it's a huge disturbance when wearing them and walking up and down stairs. For example, you live in a multi-story building and you gotta walk up and down a lot. 
Well, this could be really annoying for you because either you're going to have to change the way you walk or you just you step on the step like this and then your foot goes inward and your knees go inward and you could fall down if your knees get too weak at some moment and that is pretty dangerous so if you walk up and down stairs a lot i do not recommend these shoes just because of this simple thing but simply on flat surfaces they're fine another thing about putting these on when you put them on sometimes these when you try to put them on sometimes these have just folded inside and uh, you gotta make make them go outside and that's what these things are for you hold them like this and put your feet in i don't know how long that's gonna last i have a little bit of a worry that they could break after a while but we'll see how that goes you know but that's what you expect with shoes that have no structure in this part when it's basically just like a sock just another thing to mention that is not positive or negative is that when you're buying this online Seriously, look at the chart of the sizes and take the size that is exactly the length of your foot because if you take anything bigger, it's actually going to be bigger and it might be too big. Like in my case, I took size 11 and 10 and a half would do me better, but usually for shoes, 11 is good for me. But in this case, you know, I wanted, to, wanted it to be really tight, but... Because it's five millimeters longer in terms of chart, it's actually five millimeters longer here in uh, where you put your foot and there's just five millimeters extra. And it's a pretty solid shoe. So for around $40 in China, considering that you can get shipping for $10 to America, you can get these shoes for $50 in America, which is a really good deal. That is a bargain because you cannot even get this quality shoe in anywhere for $50 basically in the retail stores so this is this is pretty good for their price and it's a cool brand and it's a good design if you get some of the other designs 